Vader won't accept defeat. Hi. How's it? English. Welcome to Hawaii. <laughs> Welcome to Hawaii. Can I see your vaccination card? Are you negative? Awaiting orders, Commander. You be quiet. Hi. A storm approacheth. I see a storm on the horizon. It's coming from Kauai, Clarice. You know, the warnings were always there. You know, put cute tips in your ear like this. You never put a Q-tip in your ears like that. You clean it around. You don't, you don't do that. It's dangerous for your eardrum. Q-tips, when you have a tip, you don't want it to drop into... Get it! It's a Q! It's a Q. Are you curious? Curious? Is it time for Q&A? I just... Well, I mean, I just did a little... I did a little... Let's say research. I watched... Q News and documentary journalistic filmmakers did a little film on the origins and who the heck is Q and I'll tell you what I don't know <laughs> I don't know who the Q is <laughs> I took notes <laughs> the, the cool piece. you can just go watch the documentary I'll tell you what and you're good but okay I don't even know how to explain this Um, um, okay, it started off as this little 8-tran, or 8-tron, or whatever, 8-track, little platform where people can uh, post anonymously, or whatever you want, just as anonymous. So people just go, hey, what? Oh, wow. Uh, it was really popular in the Asian um, ones, like Philippines, Thailand, not so that a lot of stuff. So it's popular. So and then the kids get all all their angst, and one of these things got big. And it got pretty big, and then it went where somebody was posting on that, and then that kind of went. And there was a big um, horrible thing that happened in the Philippines. There was a shooting, and that got shut down, and it moves to this eight Tron tractor, and it was something similar, and then this Q moves with it, and then this thing starts popping up in America and it starts posting and then people start talking and like Facebook had some where the people would come on like they're like well, who is this who is the Q Anon person and it turns out there's probably like more multiple people and the multiple people went to other multiple people and then by the time it got to America you know it it spread it's like it tapped into everything now, this is supposed to be, if you don't know what the QAnon thingy is, welcome to the club. <laughs> it's like, you're supposed to be some insider that knows all the information. So when this has got interested, um, this retired lieutenant general got interested in it, and he's starting, now they're all thinking that he's Q, and he really got inside it, and it just freaking, it just, it, it fumented yeah that's what happened and so they're not sure if there's like a singular person anymore okay there's like violent things attached to it so everyone denounces 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 but it's all political and it's involved with possibly the riot so everyone's like interested 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 like as not finding out what but there might not be any more singular person it's like people claiming to be and all the conspiracy theories are Accumula wild stuff can be accumulated from all over the place and they're trying to tell you the true story about um, I don't know satanic baby eating aliens that are lizard people inside I mean it sounds really cuckoo but people will act upon that and that's a problem you know it reminds me of I used to be in Dungeons and Dragons you know play Dungeons and Dragons hey, with the friends and stuff and it was fun and then I heard a story where people will LARP live action role play they didn't have LARP back then but people would dress up in the Dungeons and Dragons style and they would go out in the woods and they would act it out and some kids are getting hurt with the play swords and some kid fell off a cliff 
and it was dangerous and they're saying that's bad and Dungeons and Dragons is brainwashing our kids into this demon world or something and I was laughing at that because I actually played Dungeons and Dragons I still got dice and it's not like that it's kind of like you make your own fantasy book it's like and now you're doing this and oh I'm, where am I now and someone has a map and everyone else is and deciding what they're gonna do with their little fiction characters and then Dungeons and Dragons got very popular and really big and then I thought oh it went commercial and I was disinterested well this is the role-playing thing it gets involved I went to Renaissance Fair live-action role-play Anyways, it seems like no one's really in charge of Q. There's, I don't think there's really, but there's a lot of people want to control the people who are brainwashed into it. And I, I don't know. So it's it's going on. So it's like a, a, a amorphous group of people that are interconnected, but not mm, deterministically connected. So it's kind of like this, people are keeping it alive. And it's fed with other people who are basically it's like artificial intelligence except it's not all computers there's human parts that are human loonies make up the different pieces and parts and, and it's a problem and they have to deprogram as so we must mend mend so this doesn't become this sort of side well i just chewed up all my time thank you <laughs> just call that q f u but I'm not. I'm just gonna go, hey. Here we are with the newspaper. There's so much inside. Let's go headline. Doses are delayed. Okay. Here's the headline. Okay. The big storm, doses are delayed. So if I was like, oh my gosh, thank God for baseball. Our numbers are pretty low. If they stay low for another week, we might go tier two. Here's back in the day. This DJ, this, this DJ, this DJ has this, uh, got his broomstick all decked out. See, it's a broomstick. It has a seat and has a little car seat and handlebars and all kinds of things. I know it's funny, but we're talking about riding broomsticks and I got the whip upstairs. The bolt is giving out ashes as yesterday. You know what they used to say? An Ash Wednesday is kind of creepy. I'm Catholic, so I didn't, I didn't get ashes, but you know, feeling the spirit to see me. I'm trying to be his believer as best I can believe. It's like you you give up something for Lent. It's it's before Good Friday and Easter. This is the season before. So you, you you give up something that you it's like an indulgence of yours. And then you re examine your own conscience and so stuff like that. That's what Lent Sarma Sama. But then they they give you the little ashes and they say, From dust you came and unto dust you shall return. Like, oh my god. Pray for the dead, and the dead will pray for you. But basically, it's just sort of you. You only have Earth for a short time. God made you. You're on Earth for a short time. And hey, what side are you on, right? So, pandemic is pulling life expectancy down by a year. I think they're just doing averages. People in Waikiki are masking up because they want to go to your tree. And they're going wiki uh, and other places going, hey, you know what? I I, I want to get ashes on the street corner. <laughs> I feel bad now because they're giving out ashes yesterday like you were. Hey, got some ashes? Yeah man. I got got a got a padre down here who's got the got the good stuff. Anyways, political cartoon. What we got? I'll put political cartoon, of course. Ah, uh, the GOP's like, you ain't gonna do that. Blah, Steve Roller. I was like, <laughs> you think you got executive orders? I got executive orders now, too, man. You just... They're so, they're so freaking, I don't know, hypocritical. I mean, like, 
you're not supposed to be able to do that. They'll say, you can't do that. How dare you do that? How dare you? And that's exactly what they do. It's just lame. Anyways, so let's get out of it and see what's going on without so much rumbling. Stop that rumbling. All right, let's see if we can do this. Letters to the editor. <laughs> Case makes decisions that are tough and logical. Mackenzie Fillman's comments regarding why U.S. Representative Ed Case bipartisan efforts, bipartisanship efforts are disingenuous <gasps> at best. Mm. What they what are they at worst? If they are they at if they are disingenuous at best, that's the top of the heap. The tippy top, tippy tippy top top tippy top top, and a storm is coming. Those are Q words, Q signals, Q triggers. <laughs> what are Q gonna do? I don't know. Ask you. Oh, what's kind of funny is this lady goes up to President Trump. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> lady goes up to President Trump. I'm Q. I'm Q. Trying to claim that she is. I don't know. Maybe she was. I just did something. I don't know. But she goes up to the big crowd and coming down the stairs and presidents come down. Former president comes down. I'm Q. I'm Q. And Trump looks and shaking all these people's hands and looks at her and she kind of shakes her hand and kind of goes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then he's kind of nervously looking at what. I don't know what he knows. Anyways. Onward. Seems equitable for all, according to Feldman, really means equitable for those who think like me. Kudos to Case for making the tough logical decisions, Jeffrey Ala Mi Da Waya Lua. Yeah, whatever. That was fun, I guess. Impeachments are dead. Presidents go unchecked. History will record the United States of America lost its democracy and virginity right before Valentine's Day in 2021. Impeachment is dead. Impeachment is a tool to control a president's power is meaningless and broken. It can be taken out of our civic and history courses, because God knows we have so much homework. As the Senate will never convict any president when 34 senators can sustain the president's power. It is now clear Congress is powerless to check the executive branch of government. President and future presidents know now know this. Now know this. They know that now. They're not what the now they know. Presidents can write their own executive orders and spend money on anything, such as wall, such as the wall, as in Wall Street, or whatever they oh, the wall. I don't think that connection. Border wall and Wall Street. I never I never connected the <clears throat> and whatever, tear down the wall, Mr. Gorbachev. Whatever they design, national emergency. It's a national emergency, they can do whatever I want. We always have been proud of our two-party system of government over one-party communist governments. <clears throat> we have just shown the world our form of democracy is deeply flawed and broken. Definitely not an example to follow. How can we be proud of our government now? Sam Gilly, Hawaii guy. Eh, not bad, I guess. One standard for Trump, another for Obama. I just remembered something. I forgot. We forgot something. So we're just gonna have to run, run along. Run along now. We forgot something. It shan't be forgotten. And here it is. We forgot the big Q, so. Quite I don't know. This is, this is quite irregular. It don't matter. It's my show. I could be talking about my pee pee for all I care. And this is upside down. Alright, BQ. Let's see what it is anyway. With the COVID cases dropping and more vaccinations expected, are you optimistic that Hawaii will regain much normalcy by June? What is normal? Uh, 23%. Yes, very optimistic. Strong signs. 38% somewhat about 50 50. 39% no way, still long way to go. 
I think 39%. Even though if they put the pieces back together, people are going to be messed in the head for decades to come. Plus, we might have to go back for booster shots. Yeah, the virus has, even if you catch it and you're over it, you're not over it. It has complications. It's complicated. Did you know that somebody bought Hannibal Lecter's house? Well, it's the Buffalo Bill. You know the guy with the moth? <laughs> That's right, Clarice. Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill is open as a bed and breakfast. Come on in, Clarice. What room would you like? One standard for Trump, another for Obama. It was so refreshing to learn that U.S. Senator Mitch O'Connell, here we go, is such a strict adherent to the Constitution that he had no choice but to acquit Donald Trump. Where was this strict adherence to the Constitution when he bottled up President Barack Obama's judicial nominees? Shameful. Jonathan Ortez, downtown Honolulu. Not bad. You have to shorten the sweep, but McConnell acted out of his own self-interest. The Grim Reaper, Senator, Senate Minority Leader Mitch O'Connell again, showed how powerful he is, although he told senators to, quote, vent their conscience. He delayed the impeachment trial until after Donald Trump left office, giving other Republican senators and himself a purported constitutional out for not convicting Trump. McConnell never had a conscience. Rather than saving his own Republican Party, he delivered a scathing condemnation of Trump's in uh, incite incitement and told the Democratic-controlled Department of Justice to pursue the federal prosecution against Trump. Get rid of Trump for him. Continue with the witch hunt. We can continue with that right upstairs. Continue with the witch hunt so he can get more Republican senators voted into office and regain his majority. There is more U.S. Supreme Court justices and federal judges down the road he wants to put in. There are old bills and more bills he needs to keep in Senate committees. Does he dare raise the outlandish national debt against his, this administration? What happens when the Grim Reaper meets St. Peter at the pearly gates? Joyce Matsua, Kalihi Valley. She equates him to the Grim Reaper. And then what if what happens when the Grim Reaper meets St. Peter at the pearly gates? I think what we have here is somebody's Catholicism is peeking through. Oh, now that I'm dead, is this heaven? Hello. Who are you? The big fisherman. I'm the gatekeeper. Well, let me in. It looks cool inside there. Uh, you have to ask us some questions first. We're vetting. Or, you see, it's a long-term residency. Eternity. So we're vetting the people that come in. Let me ask you. Did you ever work for the U.S. Senate? <laughs> what? <laughs> what does the what does the ass speed of a uh, sloth? I don't know. What is the episode? Whatever the mon Monty Python reference. It is blew it. Anyway, I get over it. Get over it. Get on with it. Save money in states. Oh, we didn't read that one. Screw that one. That, that, that was insurance, and that one's like investors. It's it's, it's like horrible stuff. Not even worth it. Unless you're really um, specifically involved in it, it's just like complicated. It's like a big ass switch or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, what's your name, Clary? You want a cigarette? Babe? Uh, no, I don't do that stuff. It's bad for your health. Leadership emerges with Green's proposals. Well done, Lieutenant Governor Josh Green. <sighs> a true indication of leadership is, pers is a person who provides short-term solutions to immediate problems, but also strategic foresight to plan for the future. Normal see full speed ahead. Just listen to the slight article of February 16th. His recent comments and proposed timeline truly give us hope. Unfortunately, we have experienced a lack of leadership during our COVID-19 crisis. 
our leaderships are simply reacting to situations and then squabbled among themselves without establishing a coherent way forward. While they may have the best intentions, political ambitions interfered with their judgments and we all suffer too. Green's next challenge will be to convince our governor and mayors that his plan has merit and will pave the road forward to recovery. Good luck! Richard Simile Kailua, who has a stand in talking to him. Sorry, Richard. <laughs> yeah. Squabbled in this next challenge. Convinced the governor and mayors? Oh, yeah, because we have mayors of different islands. Where'd you get this plural mayors from? Uh, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. The t I don't know if we forgot the reward. Who gets the award? I think the T Rex 2 Rose Award goes to. <laughs> nobody, nobody told my coffee cup they thought it was all funny and down in the office. There's some deep heat touched here. That's for my eyeglasses, I wipe them off. I think the T Rex toenail T Rex award. The T Rex toenail award goes to the comparing of the Donald, uh, Mr. McConnell to the Grim Reaper going to the gate of St. Peter. That's just classic. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you're at the game of St. Peter? Like, I don't know. I don't think some of these, I don't know. The way some of these people are operating, I don't even think they're going to get that far <laughs> to life. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I'm in the afterlife. Oh, no. Oh, well, time to go to heaven. Um, Where am I? I'm in a cloud limbo of... I'm surrounded by the letter Q everywhere, and it's spinning around, and it's spinning around. <laughs> hey, stay good. <clears throat> the external rose goes to Joyce Matsuo. Hey! <clears throat> you don't actually get it. You get to look at it, though, and marvel inside that you're acknowledged on the <laughs> Mongoose <Marcus> Next Hawaii. <laughs> Poopa. That's right. So now that we cover the news, you go have a wonderful Thursday. A, a nice, a nice hang loose Thursday. Because you can't go wrong with hang loose, eh? Hang loose. It's like, don't worry, be happy. Hang loose. Yeah. What can go wrong? Oh no, it's happening again, is it? Thank <laughs> you. 